Let's discuss scale drawings. I want you to look at the two cars. And I want you to think about if there is a relationship between the two aside from how they look. So it's kind of hard to tell by just looking at them, but it appears as though the smaller one is just a model of the first one. If you look at the tires, they seem to have been shrunk by the same size, um, the flames on the side. So we would be able to call these cars proportional. And I'm going to write that here. And that just means that the smaller car is a scale model of the larger car. And you should be able to look at two figures or two objects and we, even without measurements be able to identify whether or not one appears to be a scale model of the other one. And math does get involved to help prove that, um, but for right now I just want you to get uh, familiar with what it would be like to just look and identify. So there are four key terms when discussing scale drawings and I'm going to quickly write down these definitions. If you need to at any time, please pause and get caught up and then you can play again when you are ready. So um, a scale model, which we just talked about, I'm going to skip the first one for a second, is a 3D a 3D model of an actual object. And you've seen scale um, model cars before. Um, if you've ever traveled anywhere, oftentimes there are scale models of monuments or landmarks available in gift shops and stuff like that. Um, and the scale models have accurate dimensions that are reduced or enlarged by a scale factor. So I'm gonna write here with dimensions created using a scale factor. So a scale drawing is just the same thing as a scale model except it's a drawing. So I'm going to write here it's a drawing of an actual object or even person. Same thing with dimensions that are created using a scale factor. And I will explain the idea of the scale factor in just a second. Before I do that, I want to do scale. Scale is actually a ratio. Ratio is not a new term. It is the ratio of one dimension in a drawing or model to the same dimension on the actual object. Okay, so I'm going to slide back up here and show you. So a ratio here. <clears throat> so the length of the smaller car is 14 inches and the length of the actual car up here is 20 feet. So the ratio, the scale for these two cars would be 14 inches to 20 feet. And if that was reduced, we would be able to say that one inch on the car is equivalent to about one and three seven feet on the actual car. So the model was made using dimensions that are proportional to the actual car. So if there were, um, if there was a measure for height on the model and for the actual car, they would be proportional using the same scale. So let's come down here to scale factor. I mentioned that a couple times, and that is also just a ratio of corresponding dimensions and similar figures. Okay. So 
So let's talk about how to calculate scale factor. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write this scale as a fraction that compares the model length or height or distance or whatever it is to the actual length or distance or height. So you compare the model, the scale drawing, the uh, scale model to the actual. You change the lengths or distances to the same unit of measure if needed. So that means um, back up here with this, these cars, we're comparing 14 inches to 20 feet. If you wanted to get a super accurate scale factor, you would convert either them both to feet or both to inches. And then you would simplify. And uh, so we'll do some practice in just a second. And then to calculate a length or distance on a scale model or drawing, you're going to use the scale factor. So sometimes you're asked to calculate the scale factor and sometimes you have to use it. And sometimes you have to do both. Use the scale factor and the given length or distance or information to set up a proportion. And then you will simplify. So let's look at this. Um, it's easy to go through definitions and talk it out, but to actually see this get used, it will really help you better understand it. So on a map, two cities are three and a quarter inches apart. The scale on the map is one inch equals 35 miles. So that means if you take a ruler to this map, every single inch equals 35 miles in real life. So what is the actual distance between the two cities? So we know that they are 3.25 inches apart, and we also know what the scale is. So you need to use the scale and the given distance to set up a proportion. So we're gonna take the scale first. We know that one inch is equal to 35 miles. And we know these two cities on the map. So again, the map is at the top, the model map or models is at the top and the actual is at the bottom is 3.25 inches. And then we want to find that actual distance. We don't know that. So you'll cross multiply one times X is just X 35 times 3.25 is 113.75. So the answer here, the distance between these two cities in real life is 113.75 miles. So all you're doing is setting up a proportion here and solving. A scale drawing of a kitchen has a scale of one inch being equal to 1.6 feet. If the actual kit, or I'm sorry, if the kitchen is 10 and a half inches long on the drawing, what is the actual length? So we're doing the same thing we just did here with the map. We're going to write the scale out first, one to 1 1.6. We were given 10 and a half inches and we don't know the actual. So we'll cross multiply. Again, one times X is just X. So when that happens, you're gonna end up with your answer right away. 10 and a half times 1.6 is 16.8. So the actual length of this kitchen that the scale drawing was made off of is 16.8 feet. Now this is a little bit different. This time you're being asked for the scale factor. So you are told here that a scale model of a car has a scale of two inches to five feet. And then you're being asked to find what the scale factor is. And you might say, well, it's two inches to five feet, but it's not. You're gonna write the scale as a ratio comparing the model length to the actual length. And then you're gonna change the lengths to the same unit of measure. So if we have 20 inches over five feet. Um, I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and change this to, to both be inches. So if you know that five feet, there's 12 inches in one foot. So five feet is equal to 60 inches. And this two just stays here. Now two over 60 is not simplified. So we wanna go ahead and simplify that to one over 30. And what this means is the scale factor is one inch to 30 inches. So the scale factor of this model car, one inch on the model car is equal to 30 inches on the actual car. Another scale factor question, um, the map has a scale of two feet being equal to four miles. So what is the scale factor? 
Once again, we will write it as is, two feet over four miles. And we know that two feet, let me see here. So we want to keep the two feet the same. And then if you know um, your metric measurement conversions, then you know that um, one mile, I'm gonna write this up here, one mile Sorry about that, is equal to 5,280 feet. So four miles, we're going to take 5,280 times four, and we get 21,120 feet. But that can be simplified. So 21,120 um, and two can both be divided by two. So we end up with one over 10,560. So the scale factor is that one foot is equivalent to 10,560 feet. And you might think that that seems really big and maybe something's wrong, but remember that this is, you're talking about a map here. So with the map um, and actual distance, you are going to be looking at bigger numbers. So um, I hope this was helpful. If you need to, you can go back and... Um, um, pause and, and see parts of this over again as needed.